What up, guys? Welcome to Music Blueprint. My name is Gina Fontanella, one of the starters of Music Blueprint. And today we are going to talk about consistency. This is not a topic that a lot of people want to hear, either because it makes them feel a certain kind of way or it's boring to them. I don't know. But it is one of the most important things in music. And just in general life, I should say. It doesn't matter what career you are in, consistency is key. And obviously, I think you guys hear the, this the most about social media. For me personally, I have found the most success when I am consistently posting at the same time every day, period. Um, for some reason, the algorithm that every social platform has capitalizes on consistency. The hardest one for me is always Instagram. I always feel like I can put more content out on Instagram, but I can't seem to get the same time every day. I wish there was a program or something. Um, I think there's Latergram, which would um, remind you that your post is due. Um, it'll, it'll put like a timer or an alarm, um, that says every day, you know, at 12 o'clock post your picture or whatever. So you don't forget. But if I'm remembering correctly, they, there is no platform currently that will post to Instagram di directly for you. Um, it's not like Hootsuite where, you know, you can plan out your tweets, you can plan out your Facebook posts and, and it'll do all of that for you. It'll post for you. Um, but I, I believe there's nothing for Instagram. So that, that kind of bites, but at least maybe get an alarm system set up because there is something about Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, YouTube, whatever, that has a built-in consistency to their algorithm. So when you consistently post the same time every day or once a week or whatever, it taps into that. So if you're wanting to grow and you're wanting to grow your platform, you're going to have to do that. Now, what I have seen through YouTube is I post, I have two social media handles on YouTube. I obviously have Music Blueprint, which you are watching right now. And I have my own platform under Gina Fontanella. And every week for the last, oh God, um, I want to say 30 weeks, almost a year now, I have posted a video every Monday and Tuesday. I was doing Tuesday and Friday, but I, I switched that up. So, But I've had one on every Monday and Tuesday. And I have definitely seen a lot of growth on YouTube. And I mean, my content right now on my personal page is not really focused. Um, for instance, I haven't sat down and wrote down like, oh, these videos are the ones that I want to complete. And then I'm, I'm fitting my music lifestyle into that right now. What I've been doing because of quarantine and because I can't get out is I've just been reposting old tour videos. So it kind of has more of a travel feel right now. So I'm, I'm going to have to switch that up because obviously if we're talking about consistency, my, my platform is about music. So I can't start doing travel and, and, but my whole platform is about music. If I'm going to do travel, I need to make sure that the traveling is about music and I have to make that the focus in the travel video. You see what I'm getting at? So you don't want people to come to your page and be confused about what you're about, period. Um, and that gets kind of hard because a person that is an artist, especially like me, I'm into a ton of things. I want to have a cooking channel. I want to have a travel channel. I want to have a music channel. I mean, I am into so many things. So it makes it really difficult to narrow in my page. Um, and you can have a channel for that. There's no limit into how many channels you have. But in terms of music, you want to make sure that people are coming to your page and, and seeing the music things that they want to see. So you don't want to create any confusion because the moment there is confusion people will decide to go somewhere else. And I know that's kind of harsh to sound and or kind of harsh to say and maybe to hear, but that's the truth. If there's any hiccup in any scenario, somebody can go to another page where it doesn't have that. So you need to be very clear about what you're presenting, what what your page is about, 
what you're trying to tell people, whatever. If it's just, hey, come to my page for music. Okay, cool. Um, because a lot of times, I mean, look at, look at yourself, like use yourself as the example. When, when somebody starts, you know, they've been a travel channel and all of a sudden, or they've been a makeup channel. The best one I can think of is a makeup channel. I have so many friends who have done this. They're a makeup channel. They, they've been for the last four years, been doing makeup tutorials. And then they decide, I don't really want to do this anymore. And then they decide to be a musician and they start losing followers, maybe even have lost you because you're like, wait, I'm not here because for this person's music, I've been here because I like the way that they do their makeup. So you got to keep in mind, and and I'm not saying you can't like dabble and and stuff like that. Maybe you can like do a little spinoff if you, if you are into music and you decided, oh, I want to do makeup. Okay. We'll make it music makeup, like figure out an angle where you can have a subgroup on your YouTube channel that's like music makeup with Mandy and then you're playing your songs in the background and you're like this song's about to come out and I these are the songs that I really love and these are the songs that I um that I listen to while I'm putting on my makeup you just got to find an angle um to keep it consistent so again Going, going back to consistency, but with YouTube, what's great about YouTube is, is you, you can schedule it. And I know, um, if you're tuning in and you're looking for, um, some, some deeper knowledge, uh, hopefully I'll tap into that, but I try to, in these videos, cover the, the very beginners to, to the very experts. Um, but I didn't know, I think it's an actually a new thing for YouTube to schedule your post out. So you can actually schedule, you can pre-upload it, thank God, because there's been so many times where I've been late on my time frame because I was in an area that had crappy Wi-Fi and couldn't get the video up in time and it was so frustrating. So it's so great that now you can schedule it, it's already uploaded and YouTube will release it for you. Um, when you use other channels of releasing content, for instance, Hootsuite is probably the main one that everybody uses. The social platforms recognize that you're using an outside party and they lower your exposure to the posts that you release. So you kind of have to, in your mind, chalk up which is the lesser of two evils. Either be get in a rhythm of releasing the content yourself, set an alarm, set whatever you need to do because that's the way you're going to get the most exposure. But if you know that you're like, hey, I'm just not a person that is on top of things like that. I can't get it at the same time every day. I'm just sucking at it. If you know that you're that person and you can't get in a rhythm, then go the Hootsuite route. It's worth losing the, the few people that it would be exposed to just for the consistency. So again, know thyself. I don't know how many times I've said this in the last, gosh, what are we on? The 14th week of podcast, but know thyself. Don't front like you're a consistent person when you know that's not your personality. It's fine. Everybody has their strengths. Your lack of consistency probably makes you extra creative. That's that's the difference between my boyfriend and I. We're both very creative, but he is not consistent. And I am very rigid in consistency, so that works to my favor. But the problem is, is because he's not rigid in consistency, he is way more creative than I am. He comes up with video ideas that are just off the wall, but then when it comes to the execution part, he can't get the execution part. So there's pros and cons to each side, but in this industry, you have to be consistent. And another reason for consistency is that it opens opportunities that you wouldn't have had otherwise. Um, a lot of times I, I would be consistent with, even, even with something as simple as practicing, you know, I'm, I'm consistently practicing, I'm consistently keeping my song repertoire up. And so when I get asked to do a show or an interview last minute, I already have an arsenal of songs together. Um, and, and those opportunities I can capitalize on really, really quickly. I, I don't have to say, well, can you give me another week? And then the people are like, oh, we, we only have one slot. We're so sorry. I don't miss on any opportunity that I don't want to miss on. Um, when you're not prepared, you, you just, 
it's it's two things going on. You either are not prepared and then you take the chance of doing it and then you it doesn't look good on you because you fumbled through your words, you messed up the guitar part. I mean, whatever. It looks very unprofessional. Um, or you just say, I can't, I can't do it. So consistency kind of goes, goes through all the different aspects of your life. You don't want to miss on opportunities because you don't know what those opportunities can take you to. I, I made sure my boyfriend was driving Lyft. I was trying to think, was it Lyft or Uber? (laughs) My boyfriend was driving Lyft and I made sure that he had all of my songs that I was currently doing. Because we were, he was driving Lyft in LA, and I was like, I don't know who he's gonna meet, but obviously I should come up in conversation. <laughs> so, and if he meets a music person, boom, he's gonna be quick on the draw. So, and that's exactly what happened. Exactly what happened. My boyfriend was driving Lyft. He gave this guy a ride. He looked like some kind of person in the music industry or the arts industry, and. They just were having conversation. My boyfriend's like, oh, are you in the industry? He's like, yeah, 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 I am. He's like, oh, my girl's in the industry. Um, And the guy just happened to say, well, why don't you show me some stuff? So my boyfriend was quick. He was like, bop, played them a song. And and the guy was like, oh, okay, like this this song's pretty good. So he's like, well, play me another one. So I gave him more than one. I gave him like four or five songs. Boom, plays another one. This guy's like, dang. So he tells my boyfriend, look, here's my information. Have your girlfriend contact me ASAP. I need to talk to her because I need to hook her up with some of the things I'm doing. So my boyfriend calls me. He's like, yo, call me back. I get this guy's information. I send him three songs immediately. Boom. Quick on the draw. He calls me the next day and he says, hey, I need you to come in. I got this guy that I'm really good friends with. Um, He's put a few of my people on and um, I want you to meet him. Cool. So I show up. Well, actually, he painted the meeting like... Hey, I want you to show this meeting so we can have a conversation. He's like, "Um, my boy will let you in. So I'm thinking the guy that I'm meeting is the head dog and the boy that I'm meeting is just going to let me in, but it was actually reversed. (laughs) So thank God I played it cool. I just was kind of like shooting the crap with him or whatever. And then he sat behind the desk and I was like, oh my God, I'm supposed to be impressing you this whole time. I hope I didn't say anything. But anyways, the guy that my boyfriend met in the car, he shows up. He's like, dude, this girl's fire. She showed me three of her songs. It's insane. So he hands me an aux cord and is like, show me something. So I just start playing song after song after song. Had all these demos just ready to just play for somebody. And uh, and he's like, dude, we need, it. we need to get you a pub deal. And I'm going to start hooking you up with some sessions and, and people that I think you should be working with. So to this day... That person, I ended up finding out he manages DJ Snake. He he manages like one of the b- biggest artists in the game, uh, songwriters and artists in the game right now. And and I still have a relationship with him today. And he's been connecting me to all these different people, um, getting me in front of people, trying to get me those cuts. And um, but I would have never met him if I wouldn't have been consistent with what I was doing, made sure specific people had my stuff, thought things through, um, even was consistent in, you know, my songwriting schedule. Imagine if I didn't, if I wasn't consistent in, in making those songs and getting those demos from people, because we all know if you're a songwriter, sometimes getting demos from people just takes forever. For some reason, Nashville takes forever to get demos back. I'm like, dude, I should have a demo tonight. I should not be waiting for a demo for two weeks and then trying to remember to contact you for the demo. Like I should be getting a demo out of the studio. And then if you want to fine tune it and make it sound better in two weeks, bet. But I should not be waiting that long to have a studio, uh, to, to get a demo from you. But imagine if I wasn't getting all of those things together and I got into that interview and I only had two songs and they're like, Oh, do you got anything else? And I was like, uh, no. <laughs> Imagine if that would happen. He might have been like, "Ah, uh, you know, you just don't have enough repertoire yet," and you know, and he was like, "Hit me up when you're you're ready." Or he might have just been like, "Ah, oh, this girl's not ready, not ready for my time yet." So again, you gotta be real. You gotta follow through on everything that's going on in your life. You gotta follow through on the marketing side. You gotta follow through on your craft and working on your art. And, and your skill set. 
If you're a guitar player, you should be getting into sessions and saying, yo, I'm going to lay down these guitar parts. Or get your setup on your computer, lay down a bunch of, every day, lay down 10, 10 guitar tracks, 10, 10 loops, send them out to all your producers and say, yo, this is the pack I've been working on if you create something cool. Because that producer is going to be in a, in a session with a writer and they're going to be like, yo, this song slaps. And then now you're getting a cut of the master because they used your production. You got it. You got to start setting up things and and be on a schedule of what's going on, um, because that's when real things happen consistently. I should say, there are things you know the anomalies of like oh you just stumbled and met somebody and you were grabbing coffee and they were just standing in line you just started talking to them and and whatever like there's things like that for sure. But what I'm talking about, when you start consistently doing this and you're trying to make a living and trying to make this your career, there's no other option but to do the same thing every day, be consistent every day. That's how you make this your career, period. And you can can ask other people and whatever, but I mean, look at some of these YouTubers. What was it? David Dobrik put out two videos a week. Still, he's still doing two videos a week for the last five years. Logan Paul put out a video every day for a whole year. A whole year. He was putting out a video every day. He went to Burning Man, made all of his video stuff for Burning Man, and then didn't have any internet connection to Burning Man. So drove three hours outside of where Burning Man was located just to get Wi-Fi, just to post the video. And he did that every day for the whole week while he was there. Logan Paul has what, 20 million followers on YouTube? One of the biggest up and coming people, regardless of how you feel about him. Same with David Dobrik. David Dobrik's one of the largest YouTubers ever. Consistency always wins out. And I know a lot of times as artists, we want... We want inspiration to touch us. We want God's finger to come down and bop right on the head. But that's not how it works all the time. And and yes, you you should be very aware of when you feel inspired or when you don't. And, and all of those things. But you also have to be very aware of when you aren't feeling inspired, you need to push through. And you need to know that if you're consistently doing things every day, it's like your body knows at 12 o'clock, Gina is typically inspired. And so then your body and your brain start connecting those things together. And they're like, no, I don't have no uh, inspiration block because every day at noon, Gina's, Gina's doing this, period. And I'm not saying to not be aware of, of what's going on internally. You know, if, if external things are going on in your life, obviously you need to take a break when you need to take a break. But the people that have literally not taken a break for years, they're the people that are on right now. They're the people that have, have set things up and have millions of followers or thousands of followers and, and are making plays and connecting with people and, and all these different things. I mean, for a long time, I was really consistent with just DMing people on Instagram that I wanted to work with. Cause I was like, man, I, I, I have nobody to work with. Like I've tapped out on the people that I know to work with and I need new people. So I just started every day messaging 50 people. 50 people a day on Instagram. And most of the time, I would actually go until there was a limit. Like a lot of times Instagram started blocking me because I was sending too many messages in a day. So, but I, and then quickly, boom, I just started getting all these floods of, of um, opportunities to work with DJs and work with songwriters and, and all these different things. And I, and I just got, I got so flooded that I had to stop doing it. And even today now, I'm like, I'm so flooded right now. I, I, I don't have the time to hit people up. But again, it's it's always going back to, and I, I'm I wonder what the count is on how many times I've said consistency in this video. It is about consistency. <laughs> it is. You just you just gotta stay the course, and you just gotta keep in that rhythm 
a lot of times when you keep in the rhythm, it, it doesn't become as exhausting because you're in it. You're just like, oh, this is what I do every day. There's a flow that happens. But when you don't get into that flow and you're like, oh, well, yeah, I'll get to it. And, and oh, I have the song that I need to be written, but like, I don't write, I, I write whenever I feel like I want to write. So then Monday you start and you didn't write it at noon. You got to part of it at five. And then Tuesday you got to the rest of it, uh, at, at eight. There's like your body doesn't know what's going on. Your body doesn't know what's going on. But when you get in that rhythm, it's like you're pumping out stuff that you're like, whoa, this is starting to go to the next level. I'm not, I'm not waiting on things to come to me. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm proactive about what's going on. You feel accomplished every day. That's a really big thing as well to boost your confidence and, and, and your, um, you, you know, your confidence in your skill set as well is when you're doing it every day, you know, all the ins and outs of, of your creative brain. There's no like, oh, well, I'm not good at that. It's like, no, this is what I'm good at. And I'm gonna crush it in this lane, period. So you start getting in the flow of knowing what you, your real skills are. You start becoming unstoppable. There's so many times that I went into sessions and I think I've mentioned this before. It was like a hip hop session. I'm like, I don't write hip hop. Like, I'm not a hip hop artist. I'm a pop artist. Like I write pop songs, right? But I just went in there and I was like, this is what I do. I write pop songs. I'll be clever on lyrics, but I know what's hot. I know what the earworm is. So if you guys go in there, I'm going to start piecing this together and it's going to be a hit. So again, you start getting in the, in the, into that rhythm of what's, what you're good at. You're like, I know what my voice can do. When somebody asks me to do something my voice can't do, I'm like, I can't do that. But I can do this, which is a spinoff of what you're saying. You start knowing yourself so much better in the studio. You start knowing yourself so much better on social media and how you want to market yourself and and um, knowing what things that you like look-wise. You like, oh, I like these darker tones on social media. And then your social media starts starting to look the same. So then there's a theme going on. Every, everything comes back to consistency. I can't stress it enough. Um, so... I always try to leave you guys with like a little tidbit, like a little, I don't want to say homework because that makes me feel like a, like one of those annoying teachers, but try this week to take something and have a consistent schedule in it. Um, I'm telling you if you, if it just, even if it's in one aspect, do that one aspect, see if you find growth. Also be modifying it of what works and what doesn't work. You know, you're not going to know what works best for you until you start doing it. But find something, whether it be in social media, your songwriting schedule, whatever. Get in a consistent rhythm on that. And uh, after the week is done, comment below the growth that you've seen. All right, guys. That's, that's the Music Blueprint, episode 14. I hope this video has been so helpful for you. Please like and subscribe. And if you really like this video, share it. See you guys next Monday. I don't ask for very much, no Just a little bit of love and a place to call home